Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your wisdom for the weekday read. So this is going to be dated the 14th, but that's just our filing system. You know how time is linear, so we're all on different timelines. Whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. So let's just get into this. Let's hit it. Clear and ground. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. And we will begin at the beginning with Aries. Aries. Hey, Aries, how are you guys? Wherever you are on this planet, we hope you're having a nice week. Shout out to you. We see you, Aries. We acknowledge you. And if nobody told you today, Delilah, who's already ignoring us, Tiberius and I love you. So let's see. Let's see if we can get you some helpful messages, Aries. Show me Aries. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, Aries, here we go. So you have some kind of a new opportunity for some intimate... Uh, Emotional awakening here. Ace of Cups. That's really good. Happiness, solace, and healing. Looks like you're the Empress, Aries. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart, but this is abundance. Everything that, you know, this person, whether it's you or somebody else, touches turns to gold. They know their worth, their marriage material, their uh, class, dignity, grace, integrity. Detaching. You detach from something to go find your ninth and tenth cup because you knew your worth here. See, this is how that's going. So now you have this new emotional awakening hitting you and happiness, solace, and healing. Lavender could be of significance or any shade of purple. Some of you could be having babies or finding out that somebody is. Uh, you could also be fertilizing anything from a gland, grass to a plant, right? Let's see. Show me. Show me. All right, here you go. Page of Pentacles, a new beginning. A new beginning. Could be with an earth sign, particularly Taurus. Here we go. Ten of Pentacles. Look what you're going to have with this, with this new beginning. You're going to have Ten of Pentacles, which is they all lived happily ever after. Financially stable, grandchildren, pets are living their best life, right? Some of you are going to be going camping. I see those little lanterns while well, the weather's... Okay, five of cups. This could have been after a time of loss and sadness. Maybe you had to leave somebody out in the cold or somebody left you out in the cold. But um, the cups is spilled over. You still have two left. Looks like you're going to be filling them up. So that's really good. Yeah, because here comes the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, male or female, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So it doesn't actually have to be a water sign. It could just be somebody that has water in their chart. This person's coming in. Some of you might get flowers. Some of you might go on a picnic. Some of you are going to get some kind of a note. Um... Some of you, this person wants to explore some kind of feelings that they have for you. They want to get to know you. Somebody doesn't like to tie their shoes. Somebody has sleeve tattoos. Here we go. Magician, Gemini energy. This could be something that you manifested. You could have been manifest in this Aries. And even if you weren't, this is alchemizing. This is being creative, resourceful, inspired, taking the action, having the willpower to do so. Gemini energy. So, so far you have Gemini and Taurus as the most predominant. I'm not seeing too much action. I'm not seeing, and not one wand here. You have a lot of emotions and thinking. And so a little bit of, um, yeah, let's see. How is this going to turn out? Here we go. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with somebody that's like this. Somebody that is there in their chart. Uh, this is a clear thinking person. This is somebody who's very reasonable. This is somebody with some kind of authority. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Some of you like owls. This, somebody has a man bun. Somebody could have like a, you know, one of those, like a, with that scruffy look. Somebody could have gray hair. I see a black crow. Here we go. I'm here in Colorado, Rocky Mountain High. Somebody could live in Colorado. You got some kind of a broken heart. It's coming in right under the five of cups. This is why you had to walk away, Aries, to go find your ninth and tenth cup. You probably were stuck in some kind of a suck-ass th third-party situation, right? So your heart was bleeding here. This, this King of Swords could be somebody in the military of the law, but it doesn't have to be. It just means that they're very authoritative and clear thinking. Could have been a Gemini specifically, or it could be, okay? Let me see. Anyway, look at this now. You've got the King of Pentacles. Nice. 
All right, so some of you are stuck between a rock and a hard place, between picking between a king of swords or a king of pentacles. Um, that male or female, or somebody might have put you in this kind of a situation here. King of pentacles is the business king. They're reliable, they're sturdy, they put the work in. They're goal-oriented, routine-oriented. Yeah, they might have their own business, but they don't necessarily have to. Here you go. The lovers. What am I telling you? You're going to have to make a decision here. It looks like you're going to have two to choose from. Somebody's going to get a broken heart. You probably already had one. That's why you walked away. Because this three of cups could also have been a third-party situation you were in. Came out twice. You knew your worth here, okay? But you do have this new emotional awakening here that's going to lead. See how it touches? It's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, here. There's something under the surface. You don't know what's going on. Could be deception. Could be lies. There could be a vagueness. Vagueness. I know I speak, you know, Brooklynese here, but... Um, yeah, some kind of instability, some kind of insecurity. Maybe some of you need to use your intuition. Okay, this could have been a marriage or could be, maybe could lead to marriage. Something very uh, traditional, something institutionalized, something that goes along with the society. Oh, and you're going to be emotionally fulfilling. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling, Aries. So let's see, what do we have here? You have Gemini. Decision's going to have to be made. You have Gemini twice. So you could very highly be dealing with a Gemini. Um, that's the most predominant. I'm telling you right now, I don't see not one wand card. So there's no action being taken here. It's a lot of emotions and a lot of thinking about emotions. So, yeah. Decision's going to have to be made. This is a soulmate union, all right? Let's get your positive affirmation. I'm trying to get through this fast today. I'm so late. It's already late. Should have been up hours ago. There's not, not enough time in the day, right? Today, I will look ahead. Today, I will see my future. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful life I'm looking forward to. That's right. And make sure you maintain that mindset so that you're vibrating at the right frequency so you can attract all the positivity in your life, okay? So when you feel yourself starting to think negatively, stop yourself right there and transmute those thoughts. We love you, Aries. I'm crossing you off. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you again for joining us and hitting that like and subscribe. Also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is in the box below. I just put up a spring special. Here we go. Taurus. 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 Hey, Taurus. How are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are on this planet. We see you. We acknowledge you. Thank you for joining us. We're grateful for your presence. And whether or not anybody's told you today or not, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. So show me Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have. You got the Nine of Cups in reverse. All right, so some, you have some kind of lack of fulfillment. You have some kind of dissatisfaction in your life, some kind of disappointment right now. Let me see what goes on here. Yeah, there is loss, sadness, regret. Some kind of, yeah, heartbreak, maybe. There was a breakthrough in a situation here. Mm. Okay. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. This could be somebody coming in that has Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Possibly Taurus. Or this could be you going out, you know, on some kind of a new financial endeavor. Moving slow, moving methodically. Very um, goal-oriented and routine-oriented. Solid. It's a solid energy. Whether it's somebody coming in or you. Hierophant. Wanting to do things by the book. In a traditional manner. All right? Uh, also, this could be any kind of um, spirituality. Any kind of learning, like school, something that goes with the norms of society, rules and regulations. Some of you are holding back over here. It could be finances, it could be material wealth, or it just could be your words, your thoughts, excuse me, anything, right? Let's see. Somebody has a nose ring. Somebody likes to wear a yellow scarf around their head. Um, somebody's, what? On a high-protein diet, eating only eggs. Somebody's eating a lot of eggs. Seven grams of protein each, right? Somebody's walking away, detaching to go find their ninth to tenth cup. Looking for happiness, right? Because they were unfulfilled up here. Walking away because you're unfulfilled. You have a king of pentacles. Now, this could be you, obviously, right? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Reliable, sturdy, hardworking. Maybe you're going to become this king of pentacles. Maybe you already are a king of pentacles. I don't know. You could be dealing with a king of pentacles. Whoever this is, they're going to put the work in. They're reliable. They're sturdy. This is long term. King of pentacles talks about home. Let's see. 
family, nine of pentacles, success, being rewarded for your efforts. We like that, Taurus. Show me. You got a two of wands in reverse. So, you know, there could be some indecision. There could be some chaos, some imbalance, maybe feeling overwhelmed. Oh, it's the wands. So, you know, we're talking about bad planning, avoiding a risk. Here we go. Queen of Pentacles, look at this. Your soulmate's here on the table. You, you, you walked away. You were unfulfilled. You detached from something to find your ninth and tenth cup, and you're walking right into a soulmate union here. Okay? This is also a power couple. You work well together. This is also about like a mom and dad. It's about home. They're very down to earth, very nurturing, very generous, very kind. Here you go. Something's ending, so something new can begin. Yeah. Whatever you walked away from here that was unfulfilling, whatever loss and sadness this was, a breakthrough, stepping out to go find what it is you want, or somebody stepping in to come and find you. Either way, could be dealing with another Taurus. Okay? It's perfect. You've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Most likely outcome. Okay. Well, things could be done on the down low in secret, like, you know, which is what they say. The better that you keep things to yourself, the less people that could put a hex on you, right? But also, you could be dealing with a high priestess, Pisces energy, uh, somebody who's esoteric, metaphysical, somebody who has a higher uh, knowledge to source. They go by source. Very spiritual. Very good energy. Seven of Swords. Somebody uh, could be trying to get away with something here. Seven of Swords talks about um, betrayal, deception, lies, trickery, scheming, strategy, and sneakiness. Somebody could be watching you, okay? Or you could be watching somebody. Somebody's trying to get away with watching you. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that are going to change the fate of your destinies. Yep. Okay. Just be careful. Somebody could be trying to get away with something around you. I'm not feeling like it's this, you know, whether I'm talking to the king or the queen, I'm not feeling like it's this. I'm feeling like it's somebody else trying to get away with something, Okay. Yeah, this person, this person, whatever they're doing, they're trying to do something at night, maybe get away with something. Okay, let's get your positive affirmation. Here we go. Today I'm at peace. Today I'm at peace with all that has happened, all that is happening, and all that will happen. All right, Taurus, you have Scorpio. You have uh, Virgo. You have Taurus, Pisces, and if you want to book a personal reading with me, I just put up a special for spring on the community board. You have to contact me, but thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. That's really important. So we appreciate that. Next up is Gemini. Gemini. Clear and ground. Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. And if nobody's told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. The show, me, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Oh, ho, ho, my own and me, Gemini. Look, came right out of the beginning of your reading. The Magi, the Magician. This is the manifester, the manipulator, somebody that takes everything that they have, whatever resources, and alchemizes them, actually alchemizes them to their higher good. So good for you. What are you manifesting, Gemini? Let's see. All right. Ooh, some kind of good news or a message. Some of you, okay, could, you could be manifesting a water sign, particularly a younger one. Page of Cups is good news or a message. It's usually about something romantic, okay? Now, here you go. Six of Swords. A lot of you have accepted your lessons and departed, transitioned, moved on to calmer waters, right? With the Six of Swords. Putting distance in between you and whatever drama or ajna was behind you. You have an empress here. Taurus energy. This is about having self-respect, dignity, class, integrity, knowing your worth, being very fertile. Whether you're fertilizing a person or a plant, doesn't matter, a business. Financially stable. Respected. Nice. Ace of Wands. Some kind of new passionate spark of inspiration under your ass. That's the matchlet under your ass card, right, Gemini? Yes, it is. Here we go. Okay. Gemini energy again. Some of you could be dealing with another Gemini or some, somebody that has that in their chart. 
is lovers. This is a soulmate union. This is a decision that's going to have to be made. A lot of you got some kind of a new spark of inspiration under your ass because you're just are entering or you're about to enter or you just entered some kind of a romantic relationship. There goes Delilah, storming like, uh... okay. Now, you could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that's Virgo in their chart. But this person here, they've, this could even be you, okay? This is somebody that's done all the inner work. They've done all the um, self-reflection and soul-searching. They spend sol time in solitude. They've ascended spiritually. They're very, you know, they have a higher source. Six of Pentacles. Generosity, material help, support in one way or another. Eight of Cups. Detaching and walking away to find your ninth and tenth cup. Holding back. Not sharing, not overspending, not letting people know anything that's going on with you. Not your thoughts, not your words, not your affections. Some of you wear like a whole wrist full of bracelets. You got the hierophant. Wanting to do things in a traditional manner by the book. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This is about traditionalism, religion, schooling. Got the Ten of Cups. You get the ultimate happy ending. You get... Emotional fulfillment and domestic harmony. Good for you, Gemini. So whatever you manifested here, it looks like it was love. It looks like it was true love, I have to say. With an empress. Male or female. Okay? Somebody that's, uh, yeah. That did the inner work. That's for damn sure. That's really good. That means that you both know what you want, right? Here we go. Queen of Swords. This could be you, obviously. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thinking about your future. Being very clear thinking, very constructive, very honest, very perceptive, independent, right? Knowing what you want. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Um, some of you have a lot of wishful thinking, and it could be about a love offer. It could be about some kind of a love offer. Somebody's got a goal and a focus, and they're going to overcome any obstacle to get to it. you got Cancer Energy. This Knight of Cups is coming in, male or female, to make an offer. Somebody could be getting flowers. Somebody could be a little confused. Why? Because they, you know... Maybe they have too many options, or they just, uh, they're wishing. They, they wish, I'm here wishing, oh, now I'm here wishing, wishing on a star <clears throat> to follow where you are. Who's that? Rolls Royce, right? From back in the day. Wishing on a star. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Somebody's wishing on a star. Something's going to move awful fast. Looks like there's a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus coming in. Delilah, what's going on with you? You have Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and Taurus again. So you're dealing with a lot of Taurus here. Let me give you, uh, did I give a binaural beat to Aries or Taurus? I don't think so. So let's leave them off for tonight. Um, here we go. Let's give you a positive affirmation, though. A positive affirmation. Here you go. Today I will forgive. Today I will forgive any past mistakes I have made and love myself unconditionally. Well, hell to the air, Gemini. All right, Gemini, we love you. Thank you. If you want to book a personal, I think I told you that I just put up a, I just put up a spring special on the community board. And thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Talk to you tomorrow. Next up is what? Leo. Leo? Is that right? No, Cancer. Next up is Cancer. Look at that. I didn't put Cancer on there. I almost forgot Cancer. How can I forget my cancers? Oh, my God. All right. Clearing ground for cancer. Hey, cancer. How are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are on this whole entire planet. We see you. We acknowledge you. We love you. Thank you for joining us. And if nobody told you today, and even if they did, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. Show me cancer. Ah. Cancer. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Gemini just got this in the same spot. Manifesting. Alchemizing. Taking all of your resources and creating your high, you know, mixing them up to create your higher good. For your higher good. This is somebody who's resourceful, intelligent. They have willpower, skill. All right, so manipulating something here. What are we manipulating? <laughs> what are we manipulating? Cancer. Okay, I've been at this too long today. Some kind of a wish that you're thinking of. You're wishing for something. You're trying to manifest it. Good for you. Yeah. 
I'm hearing when you wish upon a star. What is that? When you wish upon a star. Okay, nine of swords. You know, this is like mental illness. I'm not going to lie. This is up all night. I'm seeing Alfred Hitchcock, the birds. So anxiety, stress, fear, worry, doubt. Not sleeping, not eating. And Jesus, for the love of God, whoever I'm talking to, do something with your hair. Look at your hair. My God. Okay. This could have something to do with an Aries in particular. Maybe you have Aries in your chart. But the emperor is somebody who is very reliable, dependable, structured, father figure, protective. They don't miss a trick. They're the boss. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity for resources and abundance. Could be with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The King of Wands. Particularly a Sagittarius or an Aries. Tempering your emotions. Having a Zen, a calm, an inner peace. Some kind of spirituality. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Somebody who's financially stable. Hardworking. Very nurturing. Very sensible. Very practical. Very down to earth. You're going to get emotional fulfillment. Yes, you are, Cancer. Nine of Cups. Domestic harmony. A wish coming true. Okay, whatever you were wishing on over here, it's going to come true. Looks like it, Cancer. Here we go. Yes, look. So you're manifesting and wishing for love. This is a soulmate union. You have the lovers. Gemini energy. It's Gemini twice. You could have Gemini in your chart. You could be dealing with Gemini. Straight up Gemini. All right. Decision's going to have to be made. Here you go. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma, decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. Look what you're getting, Cancer. Your wish is going to come true here. You're going to get true love. I'm hearing true love. I'm working on that true love. Someone to go to my heart. I don't even know the words, but you know the song. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles talks about everybody lived happily ever after. Financially conducive. I mean, wealth, love, grandchildren. It's a beautiful energy. Eight of Cups. So you have to detach and walk away from something here is what you have to do. You need to detach to go find your ninth and tenth cup because here it is. Here's your wishes coming true. So this might be stressing you out to detach, but go for it, Cancer, because look what you have. It could be particularly with an Aries or a Sagittarius. You might have this in your chart. I mean, this person, they look like they're financially stable. This could be you too, financially stable, very down to earth and giving. You could have earth in your chart, but you're getting a wish come true. And it's, it is your soulmate. So yeah, look at this. You're getting a wish come true and there's the star. Wish is coming true. Hope for your future. Aquarius energy. Somebody's watching somebody here because they're nosy and they got nothing else to do. So give them something to watch. There is a new beginning and healing. We like that. So let me see. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. Love is his Gemini. Uh, you have Sagittarius here, so that's twice. The Aries is the Emperor. Gemini again. Let me give you a positive affirmation. This is Aquarius. Uh, if you want to book a personal, I just put up a spring special on the community board. And here we go. Today I am in charge. Today I am in control of how I feel. Nobody can make me feel any other way than happy. That's right. All right, Cancer, we love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you again. Next up will be Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Clearing ground. Hey, Leo, how are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are on this planet. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. And nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. So thank you for joining us, Leo. Here we go. Show me Leo. Leo. Okay. Somebody's dropping burdens here. You're at the end. Ten of Wands. Over-obligated. Too much responsibility. Dropping the burdens. Five of Pentacles. It could have been some financial loss, you know, attached to this. Whatever it is, the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you have to leave somebody out on the call. Maybe somebody's going to leave you out on the call. But the burdens are being dropped. You have an Ace of Pentacles. The opportunity for new resources and abundance here. Somebody's packing their bags and moving on here. King of Cups, crowning you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Male or female, there is no gender in tarot. This is love. This is somebody emotionally mature, emotionally available, kind, loving, nurturing, affectionate. I see a starfish. I see a sailboat. Show me. Okay, the Empress, Taurus energy. 
Knowing your worth, knowing your value, having dignity, class, grace, integrity, being fertile, whatever you touch turns to gold. Could be having babies, could be birthing, you know, new business ideas or anything, new um, artistic projects. Somebody's coming in here, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's got some kind of feelings and uh, they want to explore them with you. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who's very clear thinking and logical. This is somebody who's very perceptive, independent, constructive, and objective. Here we go. Show me. Queen of Cups. All right. Now you got the Queen and King of Cups. Somebody is your soulmate here. Okay? You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody that has water in their chart. An air sign, somebody has air in their chart, or particularly a Taurus. This is, you know, this is the mom and dad. This is two emotionally mature, empathetic nurturing kind people okay very intuitive six of wands well that's going to be success self-confidence recognition reward some of you can be seen in the public eye but not necessarily somebody is uh, dealing with some kind of virgo energy about the hermit this is about whether it's virgo or not it's about spiritual enlightenment soul searching self-reflection solitude inner guidance and introspection right sending spiritually somebody's got a goal and a focus they're going to overcome any obstacle to get to it. Cancer energy. Somebody is detaching and walking away uh, to find their ninth and tenth cup. It looks like there might be some kind of a love triangle here. You got the king of cups with their soulmate, the queen of cups, and then you got the queen of swords. So that's like one too many spoons in the... Um, now, whether it's, it's masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. You also, somebody's an empress here, okay? So here you go. The hierophant. This could involve marriage. Or any kind of institutionalized energy. You are going to be successful. Look, you got the sun and the nine of... Uh, look at this. The nine of cups. Emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. Happiness. Something can be illuminated to you. Joy. Some of you might be getting married or in some kind of legally binding contracts. Um, you have Taurus, Cancer, Virgo. Taurus. Yeah. Now, let me give you a positive affirmation. If you'd like to book a personal with me, my information is in the box below. I just put up a spring special on the community board. And thank you for hitting that uh, like and subscribe. Today, I'm adventurous. Today, I will get out of my comfort zone and try something I've never tried before. So, yeah, that's really good. Thank you, Leo. We love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Here we go. Okay, next up is Virgo. Virgo. Clear and ground for Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence, so thank you for joining us. And if nobody's told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. Show me Virgo. Virgo. Six of Swords, accepting your lessons and departing, moving on, putting distance in between you and whatever it was that made you uncomfortable or was, you know, traumatizing. Yeah, look at this, Eight of Cups, departing, leaving those Eight Cups behind, looking for your Ninth and Tenth Cup. You do have a Page of Swords here, okay? Somebody here could be the younger air sign. Uh, somebody's trying to gather some kind of information, all right? Somebody's watching somebody. Um, somebody's in uh, timeout. Somebody's maybe feeling stuck. They could be stuck between a rock and a hard place. They could be very indecisive. The hangman is Pisces energy. Here you go. There's a knight of cups. Somebody coming in. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio to make some kind of offer and explore whatever feelings they have for you. Some of you could be getting roses. Some of you, somebody doesn't like to tie their shoes. Somebody has a lot of tattoos. Here we go. Somebody likes horses. You got a seven of cups in reverse. So, you know, you can be distracted, overwhelmed. Maybe have a lack of purpose. This is about confusion, okay? This is about being confused in reverse. Here we go. There is going to be a breakthrough, some kind of decisive action made. Four of pentacles. Somebody could be holding back right here. Their finances, anything actually. Their words, their thoughts, their feelings. Somebody's got a nose ring. Here we go. You got the high priestess, not using your intuition. This person, Pisces energy, could be prone to outbursts. This person um, could have hidden motives, confused, superficial. Here we go. 
this kid on guard get the higher front reverse. This person does not like to follow rules and regulations. They like to do things their own way. It's always energy. It's like a rebel without a cause. This is somebody who um, likes new methods. They uh, very untraditional. Very untraditional. Nine of Swords. Yeah, well, this is mental illness. Somebody could have mental illness, literally. It could be this high priestess. Because that's like prone to outbursts. I'm, I'm like bipolar. I'm hearing bipolar. Somebody could be bipolar. I'm not laughing. I'm just saying. Okay. Temper your emotions towards this situation or this person or whatever it is before you lose your mind. You're not sleeping. You're not eating. And you're up all night crying. Thinking the boogeyman's chasing you. Okay. This is about having an inner calm and inner peace and inner zen and inner tranquility. Spirituality. Five of Wands. There could be a lot of competition, fighting, Leo energy. Um, a lot of bullying, stress, arguing. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody who's in control and in charge. Somebody who's like the boss. Somebody who, you know, they could be intimidating. They're very assertive. So you have Leo energy. You have Temperance. You have Hierophant, which is Taurus. You have Pisces. Yeah. And the Hangman, again, is Pisces. Let me give you a positive affirmation. We'll let you go. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to book a personal with me, my information's in the box below. I just put up a spring special on the community board. So, yeah. And thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Today I choose, today I will only surround myself with people who support me. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much. I told you the signs. We love you, Virgo. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, let me cross Virgo off. Next up is Libra. Libra. Hey, Libra, how are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are on this planet. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence, and nobody told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. So thank you for joining us. Here we go. Show me Libra. All right, Libra. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. We don't like this. Oh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is this could be the same person, Libra. Libra, I hope this is not you because Swords is air energy. But whoever this is, this is somebody who's a bitter bitch and emotionally manipulative. Okay? Emotionally immature, nasty, mean, crotchy. Nasty ass bitch. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, my God. Libra, are you dealing with somebody like this? Male or female? No gender in tarot. All right, look. Here comes some kind of offer. I hope it's not from this person. And I certainly hope this is not you, Libra. I love you, Libra. We like we really love our Libras around here. Wow. This could actually be somebody's mother. It could be. I mean, I hope not, but yeah. Anything's possible, right? Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in to make an offer. Somebody, you know, very helpful, very kind, very nice. Nothing nefarious. Somebody could be getting flowers. Somebody might ask if you want to go on a picnic. There's a new opportunity. There's a new emotional awakening here. This Knight of Cups is bringing in a new emotional awakening. Male or female, this person looks pretty hot. Could have dark hair. Somebody could be getting roses. I said that, right? Okay, Six of Swords. You know, accepting your lessons and moving on. Putting space in between you and whoever this is. Okay? This just could be somebody's mother who's just a nasty bitch who wants to interfere in things that have nothing to do with them. Always give their opinion, all right? Somebody who's manipulating. That's the bitter bitch. Yeah. Immature. Doesn't want to see anybody have misery loves company I'm here. And oh my God. Take this new leap of faith, huh? You've got a new emotional awakening here. Take the leap of faith. Aries energy. It's a new opportunity. Here. Yeah. Four of Cups. Somebody's disgusted. Somebody could be bored. Somebody could be in deep contemplation as to whether they should take this new emotional awakening, this new opportunity here. A leap of faith. Here. Three of Pentacles. Learning how to work well with others. Having shared goals and collaboration. Four of Pentacles. Holding back, not overspending. Being very frugal with your money. Also, just not letting everybody know what's going on. You don't, you're not, you know, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Maybe not talking too much, not being affectionate. There is a high priestess here. This is also about secret, you know, being secretive, being quiet. With the four of pentacles, like really quiet, just not letting anybody know. Look, the eyes are closed on both cards. You know, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul. So, you know, you're not even letting anybody know what's going on inside. The high priestess is somebody who's highly intuitive. All right. 
Or maybe you're using your intuition and being quiet about things. Maybe, oh, thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. I see what's going on. So you got this nosy mother figure here, or whoever this queen of swords and cups is, because this is the same person. This is a bitter bitch who's miserable, all right? They're miserable. They probably haven't gotten laid in a year or something. I don't even know how long. They want to make everybody else miserable. You got this new, you know, offer here coming in on the king of cups. It's a new emotional awakening. You, you know, you're getting away from whatever nastiness was behind you. It's going to be different for everybody and taking this new leap of faith. Okay, now, you could be in deep contemplation, or somebody is, but you do have shared goals and collaboration. You're holding back and being quiet. You want to know why? So this fly in the ointment doesn't ruin anything. Starting to put their two cents in when you didn't even ask for a penny, right? Serious. Trying to just cock block every which way they can because they're not getting it. Oh, well, Libra, do you. Look, you got a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male, female. This is somebody hot, ready to try. Their loins are on fire, all right? That's how that goes. King of Wands, this is somebody assertive, brave, a leader, a bold, a visionary. Yeah, take charge kind of person. Okay, Seven of Wands, there could be competition. But usually for a King of Wands, male, female, there is, right? It's usually somebody really good looking and hot and they're fun. But uh, that's just to soon cut your head off. Don't don't mistake it. But defending yourself, could be defending yourself from this, this energy here. This energy here, I don't like this energy here. Oh, no, 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 run. I can feel, oh, God, six of wands, you're going to be victorious. Uh, you're going to be riding high on the victory horse. You, can, you have pride, you have recognition, you have success, victory rewards. Some of you can be seen in the public. <coughs> <coughs> wow, Libra, this person doesn't want me to tell this because they don't like what I said about them. Hold on. Oh, wow, we call it like we see it around here. The truth is the truth. Hold on. Return to send to tenfold. Now my voice will get stronger. Somebody's got a goal and a focus here. Somebody's going to overcome any obstacles to get to a cancer energy. You could be dealing with Taurus. Somebody's an emperor. Somebody knows their worth, their value. Everything they touch turns to gold. They could be birthing anything uh, from a business to a baby. They got the queen of wands. Soulmates energy here. Happiness, solace, and healing. So don't let this miserable bitch, whoever it is, male or female, you know, ruin it for you. This is what you tell them, Libra. When I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Goodbye. That's it. Don't even, yeah, screw that. Yeah, with that kind of nasty ass energy. That nasty ass energy would get such a boot in their ass around here. You would, they wouldn't even know what hit them. Okay. They wouldn't even get in the door. But that's besides the point. Yeah, keep the doors locked. That's a good thing. Now, let me give you a positive affirmation. Uh, also, if you want to book a personal, my information is at the box below. I just put up a spring special in the community board. And... Thank you for hitting like and subscribe. Today, I feel good. Well, now I'm seeing James Brown. I feel good. No, 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 no. I knew that I would. All right, I don't know where that's going, but today I know deep down that I look good, feel good, and I am a good person. Libra, I gave you all the signs, right? Pisces, Aries. Yeah, and Cancer down here. So we love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Taco Tuesday, right? Here we go. Clear ground for Scorpio. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. How are you guys? Shout out to you wherever you are on this planet. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. And nobody's told you today. Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Here we go. Show me. Show me Scorpio. Here we go. Show me. Show me. The world. You successfully completed a cycle here. That's great. Achievement, accomplishment. Scorpio, I'm hearing blue agate. Blue agate. Some of you might need to get this crystal. Blue agate. A-G-A-T-E. I don't know why, but this is what I'm hearing very loudly. So you got the world. Taurus energy. Some of you... And this is mental illness. This is up all night crying, worried, stressed out, anxiety, fear, hallucinating. Something's got to end so something new could begin. You got the death. This is uh, Scorpio energy. So something ending so something new could begin. Hopefully it's the end of this. Whatever this is. This anguish. It's the only way to put it. Here. 
is the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is nice. We like the King of Cups. This person is emotionally available and emotionally mature. They are down to earth. They're nurturing. They're kind. They're affectionate. They're protective. That's love. The King of Cups is love. Male or female, there is no gender in tarot. Somebody's got to detach from something and walk away to go find their ninth and tenth cup. Okay? The end of something, detaching, ending it. It's going to end the stress. Because I were up all night crying. Probably about some freaking jerk off. Yeah, something's going to move rapidly forward fast. Whatever that is. It's going to be different for everybody, right? Rapid forward movement. Traveling. Somebody's got some kind of shared goals in collaboration with somebody. Some kind of... Yeah, somebody's kicking these burdens. See, you went the nine of one, swords to the ten of wands. That's like stress, aggravation, worry, worry. And now I'm getting over all the stress, the obligation, the burdens. Done, 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 done. Tempering my emotions. Sagittarian energy. Having a peace, a calm, a tranquility. Some kind of zen. Yep, there we go. Some kind of zen. Some kind of spiritualism. Nobody screwing around with you because you're above it. They can't even antagonize you. Here, look, a new emotional awakening after after accepting your lessons and moving over to calmer waters. See, that's what this is about. Something's got to end. That whatever this is that's causing your stress and keeping you up all night, you got to detach from it. There's too many responsibilities and burdens attached to this. It's aggravation, okay? Move on. Accept your lessons and put distance between what, whatever or whoever this person that's making you... Yeah, with love in your do with love in your heart. But still, do it. You, you know, this is your happiness here. Then, then you're going to have shared goals and collaboration. And something's going to move fast. And you're going to get some kind of new emotional awakening. So, Ten of Swords. My God, Scorpio. You got the... Listen, you got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Not only is this like... Like so burdensome. The struggle is real. But, you know, it's, it's going to end. It's got to be a painful ending. You're at the end. It's done. You got to walk away. We're going to walk away from it all. Gonna walk away, gonna walk away. I don't know. It's not that I don't love you, because darling, you know I do. It's not that I found someone to take the place of you. What? How do I know this? It's crazy. Oh my God, channeling is so crazy. Here you go, two of wands. Yeah, you know, coming out of your comfort zone and being inspired to move on a different direction or whatever direction you pick towards success. So do that for yourself, Scorpio. You deserve it. I mean, you deserve a break today. So get up and get away to McDonald's. Somebody's eating McDonald's, Night of Wands. Valley going after what you want. You could be running away. You could be running away. Well, maybe some of you are running away. Ending something that's very stressful. Could have something to do, you know, with some younger fire sign who's just living in the moment. It's got fire in their crotch. This is, you know, I'm hearing crotch rot. Oh, my God. Somebody's got crotch rot. You know. Dip it low. It's going to be success from this. Hot, hot, hot. Now I'm hearing Christina Milian. This is crazy. All right, look. You have Scorpio. You have uh, Sagittarius and Taurus. Yeah. Scorpio, whatever this is, you need to walk away from it. This is, you know, this is ten of, ten of wands and a ten of swords. Need I tell you more? Really. Depart. Put distance. Move over to calmer waters. Because you got a new emotional awakening. You do. It's going to go fast. You're going to get over this fast. So, here. Here's a positive affirmation for you. Also, if you want to book a personal, I just put up a special, a spring special on the community board. And, you know, yeah. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Here, yeah, today I am compassionate. Today I will reach out and help another person feel better about themselves. More importantly, make yourself feel better about yourself first. Okay? We love you, Scorpio. Thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Next up is Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Clear and ground. Here we go. Yeah. All right, Sagittarius, wherever you are out on this planet, shout out to you. We see you. We love you. We're so grateful that you joined us. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah, if nobody told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. Show me Sagittarius. All right. Oh, my God. Some kind of painful ending that you're walking away from. Well, good for you. You're departing. You're putting space, transitioning, distance in between you and whatever this was with this Ten of Swords in the back. All right? Mm-hmm. That's good, though. That's good. 
accepting your lessons and moving on. Oh, look what you're walking into. You're coming out of a hard ending where you had to put space and ending, uh, space and uh, distance in between you and whatever this was that was hurtful. And you're walking right into a ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony. That's beautiful, Sagittarius. Could be with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. With somebody who's very clear thinking, very articulate, very smart. Some of you love owls. I'm seeing, what? Firefly. I'm seeing the Jersey Devil. We all know that's a bat, right? You all know that's a giant bat. I hope they do anyway. But anyway, um, so something about bats or the Jersey Devils. Maybe the hockey team, the Jersey Devils. I don't know. But um, somebody could have a man bun. Somebody could have white hair. Maybe a little beard. King of Swords. Articulate, authoritative, clear thinking, reasonable. And for the love of God, looking pretty hot. Okay, here we go. Male to all the emperor. Aries energy. Somebody who's larger in charge. Somebody who uh, takes lead of a situation. They take control. They don't miss a trick. They're impeccable. The emperor is impeccable. Okay, they have, they have integrity, self-respect. Could be dealing with the Taurus too. You got look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, Sagittarius. The empress. To the emperor. Soulmates. Power couple. Look at the emperor looking over at that emperor. Some of you are going to get married and have babies. Nice. This is your soulmate. You're going to take this to the end. They could have air in their chart. Somebody can be very clear thinking about this. You got, listen, Jesus Christ. Whatever this was, this ten, of, this ten of swords here, this miserable ending, this was the best thing that ever happened to you, Sagittarius. You learned all your lessons over here, okay? You departed and put space and distance in between. You've accepted whatever the hell it was. Right, the birds are pulling the boat. That's it. You're out. No looking back. Some of you can have like a red scarf. You walk in. I told you. What did I tell you? Walking into right to a ten of cups. Emotional fulfillment, fulfillment, domestic harmony. Clear thinking about this. Whether this is you or somebody else. Somebody knows exactly what they want. This King of Swords, male or female. Right now, you got the Emperor to the Empress. I mean, the ultimate soulmates, a power couple, in it to the end. These are parents or grandparents. You know, this is what. Ride or die. We love it. So you got Taurus and Aries energy here now. I love it. I love it. This ending was the best thing. Oh, there goes the nose. That could have happened to you. Now, here you go. Six of Pentacles. Generosity, ma support, material help, gratitude, and giving. Taking this new leap of faith. Go for it. Don't be stupid. All right? Aries energy. This is a new opportunity. Take it. Take the leap of faith. The universe has got you. Let go. Let God do it. You're not going to be sorry. Here you go. King of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. You could be dealing highly with a Taurus. Male, female. I don't give a rat's ass, okay? The King of Pentacles is somebody who's very um, down to earth, very kind, very generous, very nurturing, very practical. They put the work in. They could have their own business. Maybe they don't have to. They're their boss if they don't, though. I'll tell you what. Somebody could have a husky dog. Somebody could have um, long hair, like white though, with a white beard. This could be like an older person. This is nice. You got the King of Wands on Mink Yachts. How many people are over here? You got the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So here we go. Aries energy taking charge. Okay, it could be an Aries in particular. It's, um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but it could be an Aries in particular is what I'm trying to say. Uh, vibrant, passionate, charismatic. This could be the same person, or you, you know, some of you might, some of you might have to pick between um, a couple of different people here. They're, ooh, Sagittarius, there's like a couple of different people maybe watching you, but there's only one emperor. See, they may be all kings watching you, but there's only one emperor, okay? You don't see any of these people. I really don't think you, oh, my nose. I really don't think you do. I think you're busy focusing on your abundance. See, this is what the thing is, Sagittarius. You're busy focusing on your budget. You're not even paying attention. All, this King of Swords is looking. The Emperor's looking. The King of Pentacles is looking over at the King of Wands. If somebody knows that there's somebody else maybe that likes you or something like this. Some kind of crazy shit going on here. you got to detach and walk away from all, this, uh, all these different people and go with your Emperor. That's your soulmate. Some of you like uh, Western stuff. I'm seeing like those... Uh, Skulls of animals that they put a Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is, you know, this is living in the moment. This is being carefree. 
This is going after your dreams, pursuing your goals. I think this is the mindset that you're in right now. So you're you're busy worried about whether listen, it's the Knight of Wands, it's Aries Leo Sagittarius. So this is you, Sagittarius. You know, living in the moment, free spirited, pursuing your goals, pursuing your passions. You know, you're not really paying attention to these people. Now, you know, suffice to say that I'm talking to a, a feminine, a divine feminine, who's got a bunch of different suitors looking at them. But remember, there's only one emperor, okay? What's the most likely outcome? Take a leap of faith. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Taurus in particular, Aries in particular. Here we go. Oh, you're going to end up getting married to one of these people. You are, Sagittarius. And I'm suffice it to say that it's the emperor, Okay, so make sure you're choosing wisely. Don't rush into, don't be so hasty like the Knight of Wands would in Rush. Because, yeah, you need to take this new leap of faith, maybe towards a marriage, something committed, something long-term, something um, traditional. Maybe you're learning something new, going to school. Yeah, you could be up in your head driving yourself crazy. Now you got the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. So, you know, one of these, be careful of any toxicities, any toxic people, anybody trying to manipulate you, Capricorn energy. You know what you got to do with that? This could be somebody from your past coming around when they see all this happening, all right? Who's toxic and, you know, stand your ground, defend yourself, okay? Here, the Emperor and the Empress, the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So, it's, you know, an action couple. This is, there goes Delilah. Now, you have Taurus, Aries, Taurus, and Aries. So it's all about Taurus and Aries. Uh, this has something to do with the Taurus and Aries. Maybe that's, you know, there's you're in your charts somewhere in the top four. So, yeah. Now, let me give you a uh, positive affirmation. We're going through these fast today because, boy, did I start late. If you want to book a personal with me, I just put up Delilah. A spree <laughs> I'm sorry. I just put up a spree special on the community board. My gosh, she keeps me up all night, this dog. You hear this? Couldn't make it up if I try. How does three pounds? Well, she's got to be about five pounds now. I overfeed her. I got to be honest. But, you know, yeah. Today I will breathe. Today as I face challenges, I will call a mental timeout. I will consciously breathe with my eyes closed and focused on slowing my inhalation and exhalation. Kind of like Delilah's doing right now, Sagittarius. It's too freaking funny. Stop. All right. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow, Sag. Thank you. My God, up in heaven. Here we go. What do we have left? Capricorn. Stay on ground. Hi, Capricorn. How are you? Shout out to you wherever you are. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. <laughs> and if nobody told you today, Delilah over there is snoring louder than I don't know what. Tiberius and I love you. Show me Capricorn. Can't make it up. Yeah, Capricorn. Okay, rapid forward movement. Whatever that is, it could be different. It could be travel, could be phone calls, could be text. Don't walk around with the phone or keep running to the mailbox. Don't do this. It could be anything moving rapidly forward in your life, right? Some kind of new beginning is going to happen fast here. Four swords. Uh, you know, Four Swords, we're talking here about some kind of rest, recuperation, rejuvenation, sanctuary, some kind of some kind of silence as well. There could be some kind of silence right now in between you and somebody. Somebody's men at the end of mending a broken heart. There is a new opportunity for resources and abundance. Mm -hmm. Somebody's driving themselves crazy. They're, they could even be mentally ill. They're up all night. They're not sleeping. They don't brush their hair. Mm -hmm. somebody, somebody could have a red robe or red pajamas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Capricorn, I'm sorry, I can't with her. Okay, anyway, driving themselves crazy. Something's going to be illuminated. Some of you could have Leo in your chart or be dealing with somebody who does. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male, female. There is no gender in tarot. This is about positivity. Some of you could really be worried about your happiness here, okay? But you got it. It's right there. Leo energy. Oh, Gemini energy. There's a decision that has to be made. That's why some of you are all stressed out. Capricorn, look at this. Gemini energy for a choice. This is a soulmate. This is true love. Here you go. Something is going to become fair and balanced. Whatever that is. Libra energy. There is going to be a breakthrough in a situation. King of Cups. I mean, Page of Cups is coming in. Some kind of good news or a message. So that ought to make you happy. I can't. <laughs> 
Somebody could be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Somebody could be very indecisive. Somebody here could feel trapped or confined. They need a direction. Maybe they need to release and let go of something. You're going to have emotional fulfillment. You're going to have a wish coming true with the Nine of Cups. And, ooh, nice. You're going to get some kind of clarity. You've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Clarity, the facts, some kind of breakthrough. We like the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords brings in, uh, you know, some kind of focus or some kind of truth. Like I said, a clarity. So something's going to come out here. Now, it could be about somebody that was holding back, somebody that was being quiet. Somebody could be holding back resources, thoughts, feelings, anything. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma, decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. Just watch out for some kind of fugazi son of a bitch here trying to get away with something. Whatever it is, there's going to be some kind of a shock and a surprise about some kind of competition, something's ending, and then you're going to have a wish come true. We're going to stop there. Let me give you one of these. You have, um, you have Gemini and Leo. You have Pisces and Libra. Here's a positive affirmation. If you'd like to book a personal with me, I just put up a uh, spring special in the community board. And uh, thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Your positive affirmation. Well, it looks like you're getting two, Capricorn. Today, I will express myself. Today, I will express my feelings openly and honestly by writing them down and reading them out loud. Today, I am healthy. Today, my mind, my heart, and my soul are one healthy being. All right, Capricorn, we love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Still laughing with this Delilah. All right. Next up is Aquarius. Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius. Shout out to you wherever you are. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. Nobody told you today. Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Here we go. Show me Aquarius. I'm hearing the all-seeing eye, the all-seeing eye. Okay. Some of you... Okay, some... Oh, the all-seeing eye. Well, no wonder. No wonder I'm hearing the all-seeing eye. Page of Swords. Somebody's trying to... Somebody's got, like, an all-seeing eye. They're trying to see everything. Somebody's nosy. Somebody's trying to gather some kind of information and be enlightened to something. Yeah. Somebody wants some kind... Oh, you're going to get some... you got a Nine of Cups. you got a wish coming true. All right, some kind of emotional fulfillment. That's really beautiful. And somebody can be watching you be emotional. Oh, Gemini, MG, the lovers. This is a soulmate union, a blessed union. There's going to be a decision that has to be made. Oh, my nose is itching. Somebody could be watching you get this happiness and this new love here. Okay, so now you're inspired. You're coming out of your comfort zone. You picked a path and you're moving towards success. Excellent. Happiness, solace, and healing. Lavender could be of some... I'm also seeing a fire engine. And, um... Hmm? Somebody likes to play pool. I'm also seeing um, a van, like the Scooby-Doo van. Yeah, King of Cups, this is love. I mean, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love that I've been searching for? Okay, who is that? Is this love that I'm feeling? I don't know. But anyway, King of Cups, male or female... Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, someone rising Venus. Somebody emotionally mature. Somebody emotionally available. Somebody's going to, you know, this is love, like I said. Supportive, kind, affectionate. Somebody has a sailboat. Oh, oh, somebody might have a sailboat, one of those glass jars. I mean, if I could save time in a bottle. This is what? Who's that? First thing that I'd want to do. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Jim Croce? Maybe Jim Croce? Somebody could be named Jim? I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so some things, you know, you could be over-obligated. The struggle is real. Too many burdens. Looks like you're at the end of that shit. Okay, somebody could be dealing with a high priestess here. Somebody could be a high priestess. This could be you. Pisces energy. Highly intuitive, empathetic, sentient. Maybe get some kind of, um, maybe, you know, that's right, Paul. Maybe get some kind of um, downloads and dreams. Let's see. It's a quiet energy. Something could be very quiet right now. Here we go. Ooh, there's a new spark of inspiration. You got the Ace of Wands. Some kind of match is lit under somebody's ass. Somebody could be stuck in a hangman here. Somebody could be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Somebody could need to... Um, somebody could have a lack of direction. Somebody could be feeling trapped. Somebody could be very uncertain. Somebody needs to see things from a different point of view. 
You got the Six of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is about support, material help, financial help. Somebody trying to be supportive and helpful. Somebody's, okay, you got a lot of silence right here. So there could be a lot of silence right now. Somebody could just be, you know, at the end of mending a broken heart. Um, so now I'm hearing the BJs. The BJs, the BGs, how could you mend a broken heart? Uh, I don't know how that song goes. It's like from ever ago. Let's not forget I am old. Um, yeah, this four of swords. Here we go. You got a page of wands. So you could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Somebody could be very immature here, Aquarius. So you could just be living in the moment, right? The page of wands is somebody just carefree, living in the moment. They don't give a rat's ass about anybody, right? They're having fun. They're throwing caution to the wind. So maybe that's what you need to do. Somebody's trying to get away with something here. It could be this person that's trying to watch you, all right? So be careful. This is about trickery, deception, you know, just, yeah, some kind of, um, some kind of strategy, sneakiness. Something like this. Something could be going on at night. Something to do with crows. There could be snow. Somebody could be hiding a concealed weapon. Be careful of that. I just, you know. Uh. All right. So you have Pisces twice. You also have Gemini. Let me give you a positive affirmation. Aquarius, if you want to book a person with me, I just put up a spring special on the community board. Also, thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Here you go. Today I have faith. Today I have faith and truly believe that anything is possible. Yeah, anything is possible as long as you... What you believe you can achieve. Absolutely. Thank you, Aquarius. Have the great rest of your day. All right, last but not least, we blew through these today, is Pisces. I gotta stop starting. It's so late. I was just so busy today. Here we go, Pisces. Pisces. Clear and ground. Pisces. Show me Pisces. Page of Cups. All right, look. Somebody could be emotionally immature here. It's coming in on the shelf, kind of, sort of. Uh, you, you got some kind of good news or a message coming in. It could be from a younger water sign. This could be you, maybe. I don't know. Here. Yeah. There's a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. Somebody's immature for sure. Somebody uh, doesn't want to put the work in. Somebody's lazy. Somebody doesn't want to work. I'm hearing when pigs fly. When pigs fly. Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's um, in reverse. They're very um, irresponsible. Okay? And lazy. Could be. Could be a risky investment as well. Here we go. Hierophant. Taurus Energy. This is uh, doing things in a very traditional manner by the book. This is about any kind of legally binding contracts. Work contracts, marriage contracts, spiritualism, schooling. The norms of society or the rules and regulations of it anyway. Knight of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is somebody who lives in the moment. They're very carefree and free-spirited. Uh, now I'm hearing wild horses, wild, wild horses. Something about a wild horses. Uh... Somebody also plays the uh, bongo. All right, well, let's see what goes on here. You have a queen of wands. Listen, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the narcissist. This is somebody who lies, cheats. They're jealous. They're deceitful. They blame it on you. Somebody has a lot of candles lit around their house. Oh, yeah, watch out for that person. Yeah, hold back from that person. See that? Four pentacles. Hold back. Hold back. You got a queen of cups. This is you. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Loving, kind, nurturing, warm, affectionate. Very intuitive. Very uh, empathetic. You also have a queen of swords. Oh, well, this is why you got to hold back from this person. All right? You have to hold back because they look, they got three queens here. Three queens. Okay? Now, this person can be male or female. It doesn't matter. We don't go by sex here. By, you know, sexual orientation. So it doesn't matter. Whoever you're dealing with, looks like, you know, there's more than one person in the mix here. So already I'm getting third and fourth party situations here, which is why this came in like this. Because this person is, you know, maybe they're offering you some kind of a, you know, what you think is good news or a message, but really they're doing the same thing to everybody else. That's why it's when pigs fly. That's why you have to hold back. I hope this is not somebody you're in some kind of legally binding contract with, like a marriage. And if it is a business contract, at least, you know, they could be dealing with other sources that you don't know about. Yeah, but it might not be. You got the lovers, Gemini energy for a decision that has to be made on some kind of soul. Yeah, 
So it looks like a lot of you, whoever you're with, they're dealing with more than one person, okay? Because I feel like this is you, this Queen of Cups, okay? You need to hold back. This person is twisted. This person likes to cheat. They're deceitful. They're jealous. They lie, okay? They could be dealing with a Queen of Cups too, particularly a Gemini. Somebody's got to make a decision here. You will get emotional fulfillment. You will have a wish come true here, Pisces. Show me. Something will become fair and balanced. So whatever this is that's unbalanced, and it is, you know, there's too many people involved in this. Looks like a lot. Oh, okay, you're going to get the truth. That's what's going to bring the fairness and balance in. You're going to get the truth. You got the Ace of Swords. Something's going to become very clear to you. You're going to get the key to something here, okay? Something's going to be, you know, with this, it's going to be clarity, a power, some kind of breakthrough. Something like this. Now I'm hearing... I'm the force when we're together. I'm good all by myself, but baby girl, you make me better. You make me better. Well, listen, this person thinks everybody makes them better. I got to tell you that. This is somebody from your past, Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Maybe they're coming back around now. You're going to get some kind of truth about, listen, if this happens already, you're going to get some kind of truth about somebody from your past that you were with, maybe even married to, that did nothing but cheat. They had too many, yeah, just too many. They could have been dealing with somebody with air in their chart, somebody with water in their chart if this isn't you. Particularly Gemini, there was a decision you have to be made. This person is a queen of wands in reverse, okay? They're hot in the pants, feel me? Or if not, they were dealing with a queen of wands in reverse. They're holding back, though, because they also had a queen of cups and a queen of swords. I mean, this person is just, oh, my God, it's community dick or JJ. That's what this is. And you're going to find out about it. Here you go. Somebody's got a goal and a focus. They're going to overcome any obstacles to get to it. And what did I tell you that this person had more than one? There was one, yeah. Community dick. I'm hearing this. Community JJ. This person just dipped it wherever they... Oh, now I'm hearing Christina Mulan. Dip it low. Hot, hot, hot. Whatever that song is. Yeah. Dip it low. Christina Mulan. This person was dipping it all over the place. So let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh my God. What do you have here? You have Taurus. Yeah. And Gemini. And Libra. And Cancer. And a broken heart. You don't want your heart to bleed like this, right? You don't want to drink your own blood. So here's your positive affirmation. Also, if you want to book a personal, I just put up a spring special on the community board. And thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Today, I will look ahead. Today, I will see my future. It is a beautiful life I'm looking forward to. Yeah, forget this nonsense. You don't need to be putting up with this. Dirty dick. I'm here with dirty dick. Oh, my God. All right, thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, we love you people. Love and light.